Hello everyone out there on the internet. This is Tom Doherty talking to you today from Long Island, New York. And I'm going to show you in this video how to set up and configure a Google voicemail account. And this is a great tool that me and my team are using. We're, we're in the home-based business industry, network marketing. So we actually create um, a separate voicemail using Google. And we use it this way. It can be used so many different ways as a phone number or a voicemail. Uh, whatever but I'm just sharing you to give you some ideas how we use it what we do is we'll create a voicemail and we'll put an ad on, we'll record a, a message that's an ad on that voicemail and then as we're doing marketing and advertising online offline we don't give them our regular phone number or house number or cell we'll give them the actual Google voice number so when they call it they'll see some type of ad and then they'll see the number, they'll call the number, and then they'll hear another message, which is our ad, it's the voicemail, and then it helps pre-qualify the person. Um, so when you're out there, you know, doing your marketing and advertising, use a, you can use a Google voicemail, people call it, they get pre-qualified, you also can pre-qualify them before you call them back. Um, so that way a lot of people aren't just calling your phone. When you're doing advertising and you're using a phone number, you could get a whole bunch of phone calls you may not want them to come in to your cell phone number. Um, it also prepares you for when you're calling your leads. Like when you're ready to call your leads, you can actually prepare yourself. And I'm gonna log into the account in just a second and show you how it works. Um, so a lot of people lately are asking me, oh, how do you set it up and how does it work? So I just wanted to uh, show you guys in this video. You'll need a Gmail account. I'm not gonna show you in this video how to create a Gmail account. I think everyone knows how to do that and everyone has one. So you want to go to the, after you have the Gmail account, you want to go to google.com forward slash voice, okay? And then you want to log in. Okay, so when you this is my first time logging into an account. I'm just I just created something fake just to demonstrate this. I'm going to delete everything when I'm done. But you're going to get this message when it pops up and basically they're just saying that you need it you have to be in the US to use this number and they're only going to give you numbers within the US. You also need a US number to verify the account. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So it kind of looks like it kind of looks like the G, the Gmail back office. All right, set up the Google Voice number. You can choose a brand new number from Google or use the existing mobile number to get set up. Um, I want to create a number because that's what I'm showing you how to do here. I want to show you how to get an extra number. So I want a new number. Okay, this is the part where you have to add your, you have to add, um, I'm actually going to have a couple numbers here, I'm going to use this number. I'm using, I'm not using my cell number because I'm just, you know, this is a number that forwards to my cell number, but your first time doing this, you want to use your cell number, okay? So let's set that up. Okay. It's just verifying the account. First you have to do that. So hit continue. And then what's going to happen is you should get a call. That's why you want to use your number. Um, it's going to say call me now. See we're going to call blah 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 phone number to verify your phone. Click call me now. So you want to do that. I don't know if you guys will hear my phone ring but uh, I'll put it on speaker so you can see what it sounds like.
Okay, guys. I don't know if you heard that. I put my phone on speaker, but um, tried to put it through. And when you do that, it's just going to give you like one digit or two digits, and they're going to call your phone number. It's a recorded message, and it's going to say, um, "This is Google Voicemail. Please enter the the security code." You're going to pop in that number that it gives you, and then once you do that, your phone's going to say. All right, your phone is now activated, and then that's going to go away, and now you're going to see this screen. This is just going to automatically pop up. So when anyone calls this number, it'll ring to your phone. Um, what you want to do here is I would put in a zip code or an area code that's near you. Uh, if you want, you know, you have to determine what type of, um, where do you want the phone number. Um, I'm assuming you guys would par probably want it local. So here it's you're gonna you can put in a zip code or an area code. So we'll just try a, a zip code. So search for numbers. Okay, there's none for one one seven two nine. So let's try my area code. No, there's none coming up. Um, let me try this one. Okay. Um, <laughs> nothing's really coming up. Let's see. Let's try uh, New York. You could also put in like the state you're from. So let's try that. New York. Wow. Surprise, nothing's coming up. Okay, so I just put in 717. Um, you're going to have to play around with it here, you know, depending on where phone numbers are available. So just kind of pick a close, try to pick your area. And if you don't, pick some surrounding areas. And basically, it's just going to bring up all these numbers and you could choose from them. You know, so we'll just pick one. Hit continue. It says adding voicemail. Okay. Now, you don't have to confirm. Once you pick that number, you're good because it already verified your phone number before. So now it's going to kind of look like a Gmail account. On the bottom left, you're going to see the phone number. Okay. Then you have inbox, voicemail, text. You can send a text. If you go here and just put in a number and then write your message in here and just hit send, it's as easy as that. When voicemails come in, as voicemails come in, and people can also text text you. You can send out a text, you can receive one. So inbox, that's a mixture of both. If you were just on voicemail, you would see the voicemails. If you were just on text, you'd see that. Let me delete this message. Another thing too, you can actually call. Like let's say you're on a laptop and uh, I know every laptop you can do this because of the speakers. You can actually hit call, put in the phone number hit connect, it will call, it'll call whoever you dial. Whoever you're trying to call, a little box will pop up and you can actually call them from your computer or laptop, which is really cool. And then text, we just showed that. You just put in the number, hit the message. So it's really simple stuff. Now, this little icon over here is the settings. Let's go over there and I'll show you some things that you need to know. Uh, there's not many features back here. There's not many features back here. So shows your number. Where do you want to forward calls to? Do you want to receive a text uh, when someone calls you? I would recommend getting receiving a text or an email. You can actually set that up as well. So voicemail and text. You can actually record a message. You can record just a, a voicemail or you can create that ad, which I was talking about earlier and you just you can do it right from this system right right inside the back office you hit voicemail greeting and you can record it right here you can record your name it's just like a regular voicemail guys you know sometimes you call a voicemail and it has just the person's name you can do that here voicemail notifications okay you can choose an email where you want it to come from text forwarding now i would do this me personally, I don't like recording the voicemail. Well, I don't even want, I don't I don't want to say that and confuse you guys. Whatever you're more comfortable with, you can record the voicemail here, or you can actually dial the number. Now, when you dial it from the phone number you set up the account with, 
it's going to act just like a voicemail. Like, picture you're calling your cell phone voicemail. It's going to say, you know, put in this PIN number and, and then it's going to give you settings. You know, press 1 to record a message. Press 2 to listen to your voicemails. Okay, everyone has a cell phone. I'm, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what I'm talking about here. Before you do that, though, right here it says voicemail PIN. You want to put that in because you won't be able to access your phone. Your, you know, the back office where you record the messages and you listen to voicemails. So just put in something, okay? Just put in something, hit save changes, go back, okay? So you, before you call the phone to, to set up your voicemail, you check the messages, you want to put in that PIN number, okay? So do that. Um, let's see what else is here. This is just some extra settings, you know, call screening. Um, I like that off. I don't like a person to say their name because then when you, and this is an important feature, if you leave that on, it's going to say, when someone calls you, it's going to say, please state your name after the tone and Google voicemail will connect you with blah, blah, blah. So when a person calls you, they're going to hear that Google voicemail type message and it's going to ask them to say their name. It's kind of weird. I don't like to have that on there. Um, it's just like a security feature so you know who's calling you. But So if that makes sense, use it. But if you're doing it for an ad, if you're doing it for that type of reason, I would definitely take that off because then people won't know who, you know, people won't know. You don't want to know who's calling you at that time. You just want them to call, hear the message, and if they're interested, leave a message. So... Here's some extra features like miss call, place a missed call in inbox. There's not much here, guys. Here's one thing that's really important. If you are using this for an ad, like we talked about earlier, I, I remember talking to this one person on my team. He was like, oh, Tom, it, it took me an hour to record my ad. And I was like, yeah, so? It, you're only doing it once. Make sure when you record that message, that ad, Take your time with it. If it takes you an hour, who cares? It's like that infomercial. Set it and forget it. <laughs> so you're going to create that ad. And you're only doing it once. you got to make that sound good. If someone hears that message and it's and it's not like 100%. I'm not saying have it perfect. But have it good. Make sure that you like the way it sounds. And have a couple other people listen to it. Remember the first time I did this, it took me about an hour. It took me an hour to record that ad on the voicemail because you got to time it up. It's like a voicemail. You have to time it up. There's a certain amount of time you can use. Uh, you want to make sure you sound clear and have a couple other people listen to it. Who cares? Once it's done, it's done. So this is how you set up a Google voicemail. There's other sections in here. You'll see billing. That's if you want to do international calling, you could uh, pay money for it. But that's this is it, guys. It's very simple to do. So have fun with this. Uh, if you use it for an ad, create a cool ad, take your time with it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you uh, have a better understanding of Google Voicemail and how to set it up if you weren't sure about something. So leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment below, and uh, I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.